Hi guys, and welcome back to Alex Terra's Minecraft series. We are just outside the back. I guess it's the back. Um, yeah. The back of the shelter. I dug down the steps and made uh, uh, an extra room. Uh, at least I planned it to be a room. But apparently it goes outside. So I will take you on a tour and show you what I've been doing since the last video. Um, if you watched at the end of the last video, I found a zombie spawner. And that is very good because it will give me a source of feathers. So the zombie spawner is in there. Now it, it used to be open, but I sealed it off for a good reason. And I know you're likely thinking, hey, well, if you steal it off, how are you possibly going to get the feathers? Well, you shall see. Well, it's a zombie. Yep. And if you give it a moment, he's going to have a very bad day. Oh, poor zombie. Did you not bring your scuba gear? You likely should have. Oh, look at that! A delivery! Why, thank you! I will happily take those feathers. So, now what I'm going to do is make it a bit easier to collect these. Get the water a little less deep. There we go. And put these half blocks down. And we now have a feather collecting zombie trap. Now, I will show you guys how to make this trap uh, and hopefully not die in the process. Oh, once it's set up, you never have to go back in there, but then it, you guys would miss out on seeing how it was done. So, I'm trying to think of the safest way to get in here. Apparently my computer's going insane. Um, let's just try here. Okay. So this is not a safe place to be. Um, so basically what you do is you wall off all around the spawner so that the zombies have to spawn on this side. And they pop out, and like that, and they get carried away down this water that you put. Um, to do this, uh, let's seal this off. I can show you guys while there's one square. So what you do is you dig one block down from the spawner, uh, the five squares across, you put a uh, water block on each of the tiles, and you dig five blocks away. And what that gives you is a little drop-off like that. And you block off the uh, bottom of the drop. You can go down to the bottom and see that part. Excellent. Uh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Here we are. And down we go. I'm going to have to make stairs here. So, what you do is that... Um, let's just do that for now, so that I can stand here unhindered. There. So what you do is the zombies fall in up by the spawner, like so. There's a drop of three tiles, or three blocks, and then you wall off so that there's only space for them to stand there, and they're stuck in the deep water, and you leave one square open at the bottom so that the loot can get by. 
So this would be perfect if it was a skeleton spawner, but it's just a zombie spawner, which is almost as good. Um, almost. There we go. So what I will also do here, my plan anyways, is I'm going to set up a you've got feather uh, notification system, if we can call it that. And basically what it will be is there'll be, I'll try and get the flow to push things that land here and here and here and here to this square and then have a pressure plate here where it will trigger a redstone torch that will alert me when I have feathers. So as you see, this is a very fast way to get feathers, and seeing as every feather you get uh, makes you four arrows if you have flint, uh, this is a great way to make arrows if you aren't lucky enough to find a skeleton spawner. Now, this type of trap works with skeletons, creepers, and zombies. It does not work with spiders, because the spiders will come out of the bottom. What you have to do in that case is block one there and one there, so the spiders can't fit through. Now, the problem that causes is it also makes it so that if they die behind one of those blocks, the loot does not come out. So there are better ways to do it if you have a spider spawner, but who needs that much string. So anyways, I've got 20 feathers. That's enough for now. Um, it's getting night time. Uh, I have a whole bunch of wool. I'm not sure if you guys saw the decorating supplies chest that I made at the back door, I guess we'll call it. So I have a bunch of dye. I collected a bunch of flowers to make those, and I know if I put these together I get orange. I have some wool. I used my squid ink to make a black wool. I have some light gray I, I got somehow. I think I must have killed a gray sheep. And I have a bunch of bone meal. Uh, I've also... Oh, my uh, ghetto style door here. Make sure nothing comes in. I've also been cultivating wheat, and it's coming along quite nicely. Oh, that one wasn't quite ready. Shoot. Uh -huh. And those. Uh, it's getting nighttime. We'll watch the sunset for effect while I talk about the next important thing. This Friday, Notch, Sea Nanners, and Machinima Realm are doing a live stream multiplayer Minecraft session. Uh, Nanners has a video out on his channel um, with the details, but basically uh, Nanners wants some other people to come play, and uh, that's been agreed to by Machinima Realm and Notch, and what he asked for is for people to post a video response to his video, and they're going to go through and select the uh, people that get to play. Uh, I've put up a video as a response. Uh, it's the Gast Riding 101 video. So if you guys go to the Gast Riding 101 video, I'll post a link to it in the description. But if you guys go there and make sure you uh, uh, like it with the thumbs up and you know put on a comment, scene enters, pick LX Terror. Uh, to play with Notch and Machinima Realm, something like that. That would be fantastic, guys, because I'm sure it would be a blast, and uh, the videos that will come out of it, I'm sure, will be amazing. So, uh, hopefully, guys, if you can all do that, that would be fantastic, and I really appreciate it. So, without any further ado, um, have I gotten anything else? Since I last played, I have a bunch of arrows. Um, I have the buckets I got out of those chests. Um, sadly, I still do not have a diamond to make a record player. 
Oh yeah, steps. I was gonna even create some stairs. Um, all right. So I was exploring the caves too, and it goes on forever. Um, and I went the way that I hadn't finished mapping out yet, and there's another one up there. Okay, see, this is just crazy. Um, this, there's just, okay, at least that one's a dead end. I was getting stressed with all the directions I would have to go. So, if we go down here, um, I put torches there just so I didn't want to get, you know, surprised by an angry horde of creepers and stuff, but there was a lot of different areas that looked unexplored and tempting. Uh, I know there's also a bunch by the zombie spawner, which I will also have to investigate. Um, that's another dead end? Yep, dead end. Okay. So, I think it's time for... Yeah, it's definitely time for an expedition into... Did I get lost in my own base? Uh, there. Oh, iron. Oh, and my steps. That's good. So it's definitely time for an expedition into the area by the zombie spawner. Um, why did I have that there? Hmm. Oh yes. No, nope, no idea why. That's weird. Uh, which way to go? Let's go down. Because we want diamond and that crazy lapis luzi or whatever it's called to make things blue. Speaking of dyes, uh, some of you have said I should take some time and decorate, which I am totally in agreement with you. However, um, I would like some input as to what and how I should decorate. I am not an artist by any means, and as anyone will tell you, uh, painting, dyeing, and everything beyond tie-dye is so not for me. So let me know how I should dye my walls and whatever so that it doesn't look terrible. I Apparently I came down here but I have no memory of it. Oh yeah, I ran out of Picks. That's right. Now I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that kind of hurt. Redstone. Goodbye, pick. I have another one of you, though. It's okay. I actually do need this redstone now, because I want to set up that... Uh, you've got feathers light, and it's going to be a fairly long uh, string if I want it attached to my actual shelter. I think, though, as a result of where that spawner is, the shelter is going to have to become attached, because having to go outside to go pick up my feathers uh, just isn't cool. Okay, so, come on, rip and break. Oh, I want a diamond pick so bad. I guess I could make a gold pick to do this faster, but it would break so fast, and I would be so sad. Hmm. I know I said I wanted all this stuff, but it is boring to watch me hack away at red dotted blocks. So I will see you guys when this is done.